Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family and also go check out my Instagram. As you guys can see from the beginning of this video, today is going to be all about Kylie X Stormy. I got the whole collection and I'm super excited to break it down for you guys, show you guys each of the products and also do a look today. going on with this collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, a blush, um, a lip gloss set, three mini bundles, uh, lip kits. That might be everything. <laughs> um, it still is a lot to put into one video. So for today, I'm going to be showing you guys them and talking about the products and then jumping into a full-on look. I will definitely be using the eyeshadow palette, the blush, and at least one of the lip products, but I do plan on doing a four look, one palette with this palette, showing you guys four more looks, and I'll try to include the um, lipsticks or the lip kits and the glosses in that video as well with each of those looks, but I also plan on doing a whole lip swatch video on the three lip kits and the glosses. I do wanna throw it out there that this is a mini set Stormy is Kylie's daughter, who is two now, so this is a collab about Stormy. So it's not really like Stormy's makeup, it is just a collab with Stormy because it just resembles Stormy, her daughter. So I do think it's really cute that she did mini sizes, that means the prices are different. I don't know all the prices off the top of my head. I want to say the palette's like $28. Um, I think the lip kits were cheaper. Um, I can't remember how much the whole collection was together. I think there's like a bundle price though, but I will have the bundle link down below and then I will have each of the products linked down below so you can easily see them and I'll have the price stamped right next to it. I think that's it. I think we can get into this video. <laughs> I am going to be applying some Anastasia eye primer real quick and then we can jump right on in. Quite a bit of that. Um, I did just prep my entire skin and I actually filmed all of it. Um, it's going to be in a coming Skincare Sunday video. And if you guys haven't checked out my new series, Skincare Sunday, make sure you do. I posted the first one this last Sunday and a new one will be coming this Sunday. So I hope you guys are enjoying it if you have seen it. So I thought this collection was so cute. This is the palette here. This is the Unicarton. It says Stormy. It has butterflies and there's a glitter all over it. The actual packaging is a lot like that. There's just only two butterflies on the front and then Stormy. It is the glitter again. I know some people don't like that because some glitter does come off. It doesn't really bother me. I think it's cute packaging. Like I said, it is a mini palette. It's always so much smaller than what it looks like on Instagram to me anyways. Anytime that I get her palettes, even some of her other palettes I feel like are pretty small too. Now I wanna say this was like $28. I could be off, again I'll have the prices down below, but it is a rather small palette. I mean, I feel like a lot of people know the normal Anastasia size though, and I mean, this is a little bit of a comparison. So honestly, your shades are actually around the same size though as a normal, Anastasia palette. So I don't think that that is really a bad thing. I think the packing, the packaging in general, just being smaller squared and um, only having nine shades. But I really do like nine pan eyeshadow palettes. So, so I'm of course wanting to go purple today. Go figure. So first, I'm going to be dipping into Baby Girl, which is the light lilac matte, and I'm going to be running this through my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking Stormy World, which is this beautiful purple shade with my finger. It's like a metallic, and I'm going to be putting this all over the lid. Then I'm going to take 443, which I'm assuming is the time that she gave birth to Stormy. Um, right here. This honestly reminds me a lot of a shade in the Summer palette from last year that I have It's like the same consistency and everything But I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and inner corner It's like that really crumbly metallic 
formula, which is nice, don't get me wrong. Like, it's crumbly, but oh my gosh. Like, the formula is so good, though. Like, you just kind of have to get over the fact that it does crumble a little bit and do your eyeshadow before your base. But the payoff is crazy. I'm going to go back into Baby Girl, the matte purple, and blend around the lid shade and the highlight shade. You know, I know Pantone said that the color of this year is blue, like just straight up blue, classic blue. I've done a whole Pantone uh, video if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it, but I'm just saying I think purple is this year. I mean, with this palette, um, with Jeffree Star's new palette, but also my Norvina palette that I'm trying out, I think purple is going to be it for me this year at least. All right, I'm back. I'm going to just run a little bit of Baby Girl on my lower lash line. I just ran it along the outer corner of my lower lash line and with my pinky I'm going to go into 443 and just tap that on the inner corner to make it just pop a little bit more. That crumbly metallic shade I was talking about, they apply the absolute best with your finger. And while I was off camera, I did my base, so my foundation, concealer, and powder, and then um, I went ahead and bronzed up like my cheekbones and stuff so that we could go straight into the blush, which is right here. This is the Unicarton. It's a lot like the palette. This is the Pressed Blush Powder in the shade Flutter and Love, and it is really pretty. This is the Unicarton. It's a lot like um, her typical, typical um, blush and highlight and contour, I guess, two palettes or compacts. It has the mirror and then the actual blush. So it's kind of like a muted pink. It's really pretty. I just realized, I think this is the first time I've used her blush before. It's really nice. It's pigmented, like it builds up very quickly. You don't have to add that much. I've had my eye on her blushes for a while, but the shades that I really want are always sold out. So um, yeah, I'm glad that I actually got to try that. I've tried like highlights and stuff like that from her. So the blush is new. I still really want to get her, her contour. I think in the shade khaki, I think is the lightest. I'm really wanting to try that still too, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face a little bit and then jump into the next product. And lastly, we have the lip product. So she came out with three individual lip kits and they look a lot like this. There's a purple one and then there is the pink one and then the yellow one. So I wanna go over each of them. The yellow one is Give Me Butterflies. And these are really cute in my opinion. And I feel like Unless it's a shade that I absolutely adore and I wear all the time, then it doesn't really bother me because I feel like I don't go through liquid lipsticks like some people do. Now, don't get me wrong, there is lipsticks that like my can't relate from Jeffree Star. I probably need to have a backup for that one because I use that one a lot. So there's certain ones like that that I would love to have you know, full size of, but I do like little sets like this where they're just little liquid lipsticks. So in 2018, I believe, is when she came out with the Chill Baby palette and she had a set of liquid lipsticks and they are all this size too and I haven't ran out of any of them. Um, these look pretty bold too. I feel like I'm gonna like Stormy because it's a little bit more calmed down. But yeah, this one is um, You Give Me Butter or Give Me Butterflies. And it is more of like, from what I can see, more of like a subtle pink. Now, it might be a lot brighter once I put it on, but I feel like when I swatched these, this was the shade that I was like, oh, I really like that. I feel like that would be like a go-to pink for me that I would like and be comfortable wearing. So kind of like a your lips bit better almost. And then the pink packaging is Head in the Clouds. And that one is definitely more of like a vibrant shade. So 
it is definitely more of like the brighter pop of pink. And then the last one, the purple packaging one is Stormy. And it kind of matches the palette, and I think that's really cute. But again, yeah, these are just little lip kits. Her regular size lip kits come with the full size lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So a little comparison, um, this is my Kylie Expalman uh, lip kit. So the full size versus the smaller one. So there is quite a bit of a difference, but there is also a difference in price. So um, it looks like you get at least half of the liner. And then the size difference with the liquid lipstick is definitely a jump. So with a regular one, you get 0.11 ounces. And then with the small one, you get 0.03 ounces, big jump. But like I said, if I'm not really going through something like crazy, it's not that big of a deal for me. And I'd rather use that product than just have product go to waste. So again, it doesn't bother me. Then the next thing that we have is the set of high glosses. And I fell in love with the high glosses, glosses with my Kylie Xpalman video. There is the high gloss in that collection called Model Behavior. It was so beautiful. I still have it. I use it all the time. I love the formula, but that one does have like those glitter specks in it. And I don't always like that look. So... I wanted to get this. So these are minis too. And how freaking cute is this? Like how easy is this to take with you? Literally anywhere. And there is quite a bit of a difference and I really wish I had my gloss, but I think it's in one of my purses. But again, I would probably feel like this is like half of a high gloss. Um, so it's not too much of a difference. Now, I did notice that the applicators are different. These are flat applicators where her high gloss applicators are actually like a thicker doe foot applicator. So there is a difference there. But the formula, I've already actually worn one of these. I couldn't wait <laughs> for this video. But it's just like the regular high gloss formula. I really like it. So I'm going to briefly go over these shades. I think I'm actually going to wear one of them today with one of the lip liners. But like I said, I'll be wearing more of these lip products in the Four Looks One Palette video. But also, I will do a whole lip swatch video. Maybe the next time I use the palette, I'll set down and or one of the looks that I do with the palette, I'll set down and do a lip swatch video on all of the lip products from this collection. Packaging wise, you have two with the purple caps, and there's no glitter or anything in these. They're just regular glosses. One of them is more of a pink color. One of them's more of a purple color. And the pink one is Baby Love, and then the purple one is My Little Aquarius. Then you have the caps that are pink, and one of them you can tell is definitely like more of a vibrant hot pink, and then more of like a lighter pink. And this one has like purple and um, duochrome like green glitters in it. This actually reminds me a lot of the Model Behavior Gloss and since that one's discontinued I kind of wonder if this was kind of bringing that one back a little bit but I really do like that one but the one with glitter is Stormaloo Stormilu, and the like vibrant one is Deepest Love and then the two with yellow caps one of them is another pink, and then the other one is more like a peachy shade, and this one has glitter in it, where this one doesn't either. And the more vibrant one, it doesn't have glitter either. I like that there's a variety. The uh, peachy with glitter in it is called Little Sunshine, and then the pink one is called Sweet Dream. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips with the Stormy lip liner and then I'm going to be taking this purple gloss called My Little Aquarius and using that today. I actually just took this around my lips to line them. I didn't put it in the middle um, besides just contour points. I don't think I've ever seen a lip liner that matches my lips so closely though. I love that. This is a high gloss, so like I said, it's a gloss. There is some pigment to these, but once it's applied and like your lips rub together, there's not that much pigment because it is a gloss. Um, so it's mainly gonna be the color of the liner. 
which I'm okay with, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more color payoff in the lip swatch video. Okay, so first impressions. I'm pretty impressed with this collection. I like the mini sizes. I feel like some people might not. Um, and I get that. I get that when you're paying any money for a product, you want a, a lot of product. So I do understand that, but there is a price drop in these products, so that's really nice. Usually you can't buy like a whole collection at this cost, so I really do like that. The blush is full size. I don't know if I said that or not, but the blush is full size, just the rest is mini. So um, I do think that the palette's still going to stretch a long way. It's like I said, that's literally like the size of an Anastasia shadow, so that's not really a big issue for me. And I love the color story. I'm obsessed with purple eyeshadow, so I know I will get a lot of use out of it. And the high glosses, I know, will literally always have at least one in my purse for on the go because I love the formula. It's not sticky. It wears pretty well. And I don't know, it's just like the perfect gloss. It's more of like an oily-based gloss where... Um, my fit, my lips feel very moisturized while wearing it. So that's what I really like. It's like a gloss that I wouldn't care to throw on to run into the gym if my lips were a little dry. It just is like a good moisturizing gloss. So I do like that. Um, the lip kits, I want to say these are all matte. I forgot to look and make sure. Yes, they're all matte liquid lipsticks. So there's no velvets. I do prefer the velvets over her mattes because the mattes are definitely long wearing, but they are a little bit more on the dry side, so just make sure your lips are prepped, exfoliated, moisturized, all of that before wearing them. But the shades do look really stunning, and again, a lip swatch video is coming on all of the glosses and the lip kits, and I will also feature them in my video with the other looks from this. But let me know down below what you think of this collection. I know it's always kind of up in the air because it's the Kardashian-Jenner family, but I really do enjoy their products, so I want to put more on my channel that I do enjoy as well, and I know that some people are the same way and they want to see these, so that's why I am including them, but I understand completely if you don't like them, but all together, I think it's a really cute set, and fun fact about me growing up, butterflies were like one of my favorite things, so this collection is super cute to me, and I still love butterflies so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me some thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.